okay so it's not something that i would want to go on with i want you to see this video first we will go out here leaving in part of the nail intact and the other one just like this i've never seen like this anything in my lifetime so should i leave this inside that stuff they uh i have seen this stuff before i did i did i did i have seen this stuff before i did i did yes i did i have seen this before already it's still this shit started to me about really about I don't know it, it exploded several months ago it started several months ago this kind of stuff this this I don't have anything like this on nails uh, I had fungus but this is a different fungus this appears this is a totally totally different fungus uh, this just happened so is on my left leg and my left leg is what you see right there I'm just gonna give you like a quick quick little looking so much forward to that lower area oh let's just go I'm gonna go like this yeah so it's like this it looks like a human and what I'm gonna tell you is like this just about um, I don't know when I returned from Brezice how long ago was that I don't even know what is it now already two weeks you see the center of the left foot the center talking about a center here center of the left foot right in the center of the left foot in the center they started to do something to me already in 95 and 96 claiming me that this is what I'm gonna have a problem that I'm gonna have a problem oof this is a long 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 crazy 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 case drugged up beaten up brought in Slovenia Croatia Serbia Belarus Czech Republic Slovakia Poland Russia and also Western countries but nobody was as eager as much as Russians Serbs my neighbor Dr. Igor Kotar Slovenian physicians politicians to get me killed basically through the most sadistic as much as possible suffering involved um, slow death that's how they refer to this straight in the face during MK Ultra. that's what I was brought by the Central Intelligence Agency from Miami to Slovenia for and they knew this very well they knew very well about what goes on with me what they were preparing and they gave them a good assistance in doing that it would not succeed without the Central Intelligence Agency, without the U.S. government, American presidents, Congress. I think that's enough said. It was too important for American politics uh, to lead me out of this, I suppose. This concerning absolutely everything, including my health and everything. 
and so in the left center leg they came up with the idea to do something to me because they, what the first thing they did is they wanted to know all about my friends they wanted to know all about my health issues involving health issues and they follow up through all my health issues anything that was related to a health issue they amplified they made crazy shit out of health issues when i was like 14 years old 13 years old i don't know i was uh, actually younger i must have been i was i think 12 years old and i stepped on a nail and I had, I was protected against the tetanus, uh, nothing, absolutely no damage whatsoever on the nerve, on, on anything. It was not deep, it was not a deep cut, more like a bruise. What... Uh, they have done to me however was with exactly the same principle as they have used also on the left side uh, in an arm area with the needles they go with the needle and they 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 pinch you into area repeatedly 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 maybe they also inject something inside uh, but I'll dare tell you that does a hell of a job It does a hell of a job. Um, I rehearsed from MK Ultra on so many occasions. Cancer uh, have produced effects right at this. This here, this is the epicenter that you see right here. This is the epicenter of my cancer. This stuff was created literally. Uh, by these physicians. These were epicenters and I told you here also on the left side in arm area lymph node, gland node this is what they repeatedly punctured uh, repeatedly they refer to that as a surgery, a surgical procedures actually and they told me this is what you're gonna be suffering from but I was told there is there there was probably more done about it these are things that I know 100% that I was stabbed with in these areas here repeatedly when subject to MKUltra uh, to amplify the cancer actually injury, physical injury that would produce cancer if body would be exposed to whatever they use to expose the cancer because they use me to literally evaluate the products inside of the local stores uh, like a rat like like you 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 use a human being to test stuff on one uh, like animals like rats m mice and so on they use in the labs but these are these are the real human experimentation done and then they would take my blood and analyze and see exactly what and then they would use uh, medications for the cancer to promptly remove one and reintroduce me back to environment for what the Americans refer to also destroying the immune system over the course of the time to the degree the body could no longer properly even defend itself against cancer um, this area here I want to talk about today this area here um, therefore left foot they have amplified the injury by using very very discomforting shoes shoe wear shoe that would cause me pain during the walk Painful walking would result in my actually crying during MK Ultra due to pain. It was unbearable. And they would push me through the limits on hiking 50, 60, 70 kilometer as far on foot. 
uh, in Poland they compelled me to carry belongings from MK Ultra people I don't actually know and deliberately fastened uh, backpacks in a way that would harm spine as much as possible therefore uneven this is what this is what MK Ultra is something that you shouldn't you shouldn't allow anybody to perform on you because this is the reason this here this is the reason big enough for you not to allow this I don't think that this is uh, actually I don't think that cancer I don't think that any kind of disease that human can suffer from can be worse than MK Ultra. You were able to see they labeled me even as a paranoid schizophrenic. Broke my spine, infected with a cancer, do all the shit that you guys read about and you fear in daily life you would suffer from. It was a fucking nightmare that came my way. So they deliberately injured, time and again they injured, especially this here, this left foot. And this injury was rehearsed over and over and over again. Would always have the same result. It would uh, start here, or it would start here. They were using uh, socks that were very, very tight. Uh, too tight, right here, actually. The improper sized socks, and they use that kind of stuff to agitate heavily to cause a tremendous injury and so when the cancer started it will this this here is where the blood clots would explode here or here um, if it would explode if it would explode here before you know you would have one here also not only here and also vice versa but I'm gonna tell you something whenever it exploded on foot it was this thing here that was uh, that would become painful eventually the MK Ultra uh, so painful that they would bring me bring me to the brink of uh, human agility you couldn't even walk and it's something I have experienced afterwards once cancer exploded throughout my body uh, again by myself all this here it was impossible to deal with it was impossible for me to even walk I managed eventually to overcome this uh, by literally using cleansing system for the body cleansing system for the veins which was my own invention it is something that I got from the internet because of the physicians that were involved in this NK Ultra uh, this American physicians insisted on issues such as uh, garlic and lemon um, but they insisted in uh, not in combinations not in the way I did this stuff if I would have done it the way they did I would have not get rid of any cancer um, the secret about curing yourself from the cancer is in knowing how to cure yourself how to cure yourself um, you can eat as much garlic as you want and uh, if you look on internet you're gonna see that's actually damaging for you if you do it too much they insisted to me under MK Ultra that I have to eat two heads of uh, garlic every day not cloves but the whole thing two of them minimum so that I could reach the potential of medications anti-cancer medications they claim me that's exactly what the medications are made uh, it was very very bad stuff to even attempt anything like this I tried um, shortly I tried and uh, it really really didn't work and so I designed my own way on how to do these things 
it's all connected also with the cleaning of uh, of veins uh ogilia i don't know how to say this in in english language and i don't have enough time that i'm gonna profess here on how to this blah 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 and so on well you can cure yourself i did to degree so that i can function uh it was time i remember son from arnold schwarzenegger and i remember mike tyson and I, johnson and all this shit they told me under MK Ultra we're gonna be like this and we're gonna be like that and we're gonna be I don't know what the fuck we're gonna be and you're gonna be just failing and fading away. You you can never do this. You can never do what we can do and la 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 la. This is the way. This is the kind of people. This is the people. These are the heroes. This is this is a Hollywood. Then it involved a bunch of other people and the only thing they did was on Yahoo they wrote about fucking cancer every day bunch of people whom I was guilty they got cancer a uh, bunch of people who told me all about uh, how painful the chemotherapies are and all kinds of fucking therapies and what's gonna happen and this and that sheer lunacy sheer lunacy went on for no less than 26 fucking years without any mercy so I'm gonna tell you anyways how you can cure yourself from cancer enough to stay alive enough to stay away from medications because I know because I did it and I'm here <laughs> cancer stage my cancer stage how the my cancer stage was my cancer stage was such as they told me the case is gonna be it's gonna eventually spread into a heart eventually it's gonna cause you damage with the heart valves and everything is gonna completely destroy you it did uh, I was nothing other but walking cancer at one time the cancer on me was just um it was nothing other than cancer i could not believe that somebody can be so fucking cancerous that somebody can be filled with the cancer as much as i was i cannot believe this shit however however okay the pain here was unbearable I couldn't walk because of the pain like this at one point in time. I avoided by I avoided complete disaster that was rehearsed on me under MK Ultra on a million occasions since 1995 by simply uh, taking off the whole strap of my back whenever I walk with with a backpack and uh, use like a cross like side like um like in diagonal diagonal uh, this thing so there is no more pressure here in this because i know that they did stuff here i cannot afford anymore uh to have the gland, gland nodes here this area whatever they did i cannot afford anymore to it's it was like unbearable pain it was so painful that uh, when the Belarus criminal that was here imitated during MK Ultra learned about all my issues, then he would literally lay net down next to me and insisted on how he no longer can take puppet, that he's going to go to a physician, doctor, it's going to be a surgery. The guy I met in Poland, who also stated, by the way, in audio, that he had a cancer, he, he cured himself. That was the guy who insisted on my going and having Sergei from Belarus. My going and having rather surgery and surgery removed the cancer gland node. Police stated this is going to be a removal gland node 100% if you don't do la, 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 la. This is how it all started. So this was one problem that I solved in like in a last second because I have found myself going through the stages of bullshit they brainwash me with uh, put yourself something here put yourself something there and the only thing was just deteriorating deteriorating going to to worse and worse and worse degree uh, already spreading onto my heart affecting my heart area it wasn't because of the cold weather or something like this they brainwash all kinds of lice went to the physicians knew nothing about the doctors as you were able to see it twice knew nothing about knew nothing about the cancer 
know nothing about cancer, you're healthy, you're fine, you'll fuck you, basically. Complain about heart problems, classic description of cancer. Fuck you. You're good. And it's what I was taught, guaranteed, in fact, under MK Ultra, it's the case is going to be. Well, even bigger problem at one point started when I no longer could go in a river for a swim in extremely, extremely light uh, shoe wear. That's like very, very thin stuff. Very, very, very super light. I don't know how, how light this shit is, but it's a super, super light running shoes, whatever. You could actually go and sleep with them. That's how light they are. That's how soft they are. I couldn't go swim anymore in cold water with them because of the pain I had on my foot. On my foot. I uh, gotta make sure that I properly on my foot here in this area here this again this was a left leg left foot on foot on top of the foot I couldn't take it anymore not even like this not even like this ladies and gentlemen not even going for a swim I decided I'm gonna take a break little did I knew that it was cancer because previously the pain was all over here not only here not only in this area not only in the center of the foot and on top of the foot uh, but also uh, exactly below the knee all the way this so this shit repeated from MK Ultra completely except that they told me that it's surgeries on me all kinds of stuff they were doing uh, that they destroyed me veins and I don't know what kind of crazy stuff well I decided I'm gonna take a break and I did I didn't go anymore for walking I didn't go anymore for swimming actually for swimming I did go but swimming 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 was like this Swimming was inside of the shoes and as soon as I would finish with the swimming I would wear this this you guys know many of you even walk with this stuff but that's what I would do once I would get out of the water it was not so cold water summertime uh, the pain however in my uh, legs was so bad that I couldn't go for a walk anymore and so I did a lot of gardening watering and stuff like this to burn calories stress get rid of the stress and so on it was uh, a war for life i at one stage at one point i no longer could have even elevated myself uh, on a stairways because of the pain here in this left leg in this here in this area no longer could no longer could do it now after I solved this issue here, finally somehow, and uh, the heart area was still affecting me heavily, I was really afraid it's gonna spread into my heart. And for the heart area, they didn't tell me that it's a cancer that's gonna deliver the final blow. They talked about all kinds of bullshit about the valves, uh, all kinds of stuff. They did not explain that problem with the valves with heart is going to develop from the cancer they didn't they didn't explain it at one stage at one point i'm going to be nothing but walking cancer they didn't explain anything so every this news on the off all these heroes from hollywood that they wanted me to compete with them in physique and so on and i'm thinking about this fucking evil And I tell you, honestly, I was wondering what kind of people these people are in the U.S. 
about the Hollywood and about all this stuff. Uh, and finally understood what these people were after, what they, they wanted so much from me. The death under given circumstances, if I would continue to push myself, was not too far. The end was very, very near for me. They did not want me to be alive. They didn't want Mr. Johnson, Rock Johnson, don't want the truth to come out about this case. He is too much ashamed of it. He's not alone. So what, uh, what now with this stuff? What now with this stuff? I told you about the garlic. I told you about all this stuff. Well, the cleaning of these veins and all that stuff. It's about the only thing that was left. But that should have to be done in a very, very special way. So I figure out the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you do have a cancer, to get rid of the cancer. Get rid of the cancer enough so that you can function. And I know so because if I have the cancer, the pain in the center of my left foot explodes and it affects all the way up to my knee, veins. It turns into unbearable pain that you cannot even walk. And of course, uh, it, it spreads onto other parts which appears that uh, in a heart area, I, I'm sensitive to it, right? So how do I resolve this problem? Well, I resolve this problem by simply walking a distance um drinking some water here and there uh, drinking more water actually quite during drinking water i would sit you know sit uh no one drink this water and let the water settle in me and then i will continue to walk and once it will get painful enough uh, that's why i would take cloves of the garlic put them in my mouth and uh, water this close with uh, with the water so in other words I would slowly chew this garlic and the extract from the garlic I would uh, sip in me and I would go and I would uh, you know every here and there I would just uh, repeat this procedure it doesn't matter uh, every I don't know I have no idea. Maybe, 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 maybe every fifteen, maybe twenty, maybe thirty minutes, whatever you know. Um, that's pretty much how I would have done it, and I would go the distance as far as possible. I would start eating garlic, doing what I stated to you. I did. I just start doing that kind of stuff after already walking for about maybe two hours. So that the system itself, because that was the idea, the system itself already would somewhat uh, cleanse itself. And so that the garlic that I would present to the organism would have a greater impact, greater effect. It did. It did. It eventually kicked cancer enough to distance so that I was actually back on feet again. So that what is Director of Police, Janusz Ogolin, told me, that he will know there is a problem with me when he sees me walking the stairs up and down but they all guarantee me a certain death they all guarantee me 100 percent death if i will ever get to that stage they say it was done in the last second in the last moment no fucking clues no fucking help no shit But it was done. And little by little, I started to go to the distance. Now, for things to get even worse for me, when I was in completely unbearable pain, in pain that I could not even go upstairs, uh, up the stairs, inside of the house, the brute accident a setup 
from police. No, Mr. Police, the place, uh, the dam not too far from here. I'm gonna do all this in one video. Um, that one fucked me up completely. That was a really, really bad cut, but that was on the right side of my foot, the finger that I demonstrated you. I cut myself something that, because the dam was not repaired for so long. For I don't know, they they ten or twelve years they did this, uh, they rebuilt this dam, and they deliberately left. They set me up. I already have spoken about that stuff on the river Kirka with a wood. They brainwash. They, you should bring that wood home and so on. It's good and so on. And uh, that's where exactly that portion of unrepaired dam was and I stepped on that shit and it was about a centimeter and a half deep cut still is a crack right there can be visible and so I was completely immobile I was totally fucked up I had impossible pain I took the shoes down so that I could go for swimming and uh, when I did this I cut myself completely now I was completely fucked now I no longer could swim, N not even swim, I should say. I no longer could even swim. The leg was completely fucked up. I couldn't walk. Now I no longer could even go for a swim. So now you're in trouble. That kind of cut typically took about three months for everyone that have experience to heal itself. If you would enter in the water with that kind of cut, it would simply wide open again, like a sausage, like when you cook sausage. That's because of the cold temperature, the water. Wet skin, cold water, the only thing that will do is if you have a wound, it will wide open one. It was guys that got this kind of cut. It was well tested by the police, this stuff. That couldn't heal quite a few for six months. One guy, I don't know if it's true or not, even for nine months, whatever. It was good, good, good punishment. Uh, but this is something I already have similar, have tested in Poland when I was without heating the entire winter. And I realized that the little cuts would not heal itself because of the temperature, because of cold. But instead they would just keep opening like a sausages because of the cold. So I knew better not to go in the water. Then, taking my time here, I started to pay attention more to these cancer issues. Not really to cancer, but uh, completely other issues. As I stated, how to cleanse the body from fat that builds itself inside of the veins. And that's when I came up with the lemons uh, and garlic. Um, accepted this garlic kills cancer except that if you if you cleanse your element your body from stuff that you have consumed that you have eaten uh, and you you do the distance and the cancer start to multiply because when you walk the blood circulates and so on uh, and you introduced garlic into one at one point at one stage, uh, it heavily, heavily, it has a heavy, heavy impact on a garlic, uh, on a cancer. And uh, that's how you see me. That's how you still see me. Otherwise, I would be already a few feet under the earth, under the surface, whatever, under the ground. No, I was not, I'm not kidding. I was not far from it. It was nothing other than cancer. For the last five years, it was nothing other than and 24-7, what you hear. Still don't know why that would be, but that, that could be related to exactly what I stated. Build up in my veins, maybe God knows what the fuck they have done to me. Where else? That's why I don't recommend MK Ultra luxury to anybody out there. Um, and... All the confusion they introduced, they created through MKUltra and they introduced into a real element, 
it was a very very difficult experience for me many rated one is no way no escape no way but you get to see me and i just gave you the recipe on how to survive without cancer pills uh, how much does it, this stuff kind of work but this is about knowing how to take it how to use it if you would go and continue to use garlic i did one time you're rather gonna hurt yourself because when you introduce garlic and the veins open and so on and uh, you cluster one with some kind of uh, cookies chocolates and stuff like this that kind of food after you eat good food or whatever you do you're gonna cause damage you you can actually introduce more more problem to the system than good so don't do that kind don't even use garlic when you eat is my suggestion don't eat don't use garlic at the table in a salad or whatever don't use it use it as a medicine do not use it at all don't let your body get used to don't let cancer get used to garlic i think maybe the cancer cells can actually learn to bypass garlic I think the garlic has effect it kills cancer but um, that effect maximum of that effect can be reached if you introduce one to the body on minimum occasions so I would use cancer sense as the main medication for the cancer actually garlic is the main medication for the cancer and in between those intervals I would use something completely different for the cancer uh, onions help me out cinnamon help me out and I say turmeric uh, is helpful but you, that's the stuff you can see on the internet yeah it was also found during uh, tests they conducted on me uh, that huge amounts of cinnamon do not damage me in absolutely any way but rather help me out it was a german couple that i identified not too long ago uh in this um, shopping mall if you want here in this Jabiavas, gotnavas right in front of the renault factory i yet had to put this audio online but i did uh, mention these people on on the news side yeah meeting them they were involved the girl from frankfurt area and both live with the parents uh, from the husband these two guys were extremely stimulated in helping me out the germans were really stimulated in learning as much as possible so they could help me out okay so they became under very very sharp criticism here in Slovenia about uh, when they brought me here one time and they stayed with us in the house and they started to feed me with a considerable amount of uh, cinnamon and I just happened to like cinnamon all through I never really ate one I never ate one so neighbor Dr. Igor Kotar panicked when they introduced me so much cinnamon uh, it's like a more considerable amount of cinnamon okay you're talking about i don't know here is let's say um because cinnamon can have a negative effect if you read on the internet yeah this thing for instance here i don't know how much is in here 45 grams is designed here okay if i would consume they told me under mk ultra if i would consume even uh like a half of this jar of cinnamon would not hurt me but if i would uh they told me if you if you're going to consume the whole thing the whole jar of the cinnamon that can be a trouble joe biden knew about this case completely knew all about in and out about this cancer bullshit they did on me all the tests amazing uh so to give to extend this intervals as much as possible 
and give cancer the maximum potential when it's needed to you to be used in a way I have stated you I used several different uh, variations of stuff that is that you can use to get by another thing is I learned that standing up while drinking let's say especially coffee or drinking any kind of artificial flowering cocoa or something like that that's like drinking anything artificial is a no-no here uh, consuming sugar is a complete no 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 um, but there is such thing you can substitute sugar with bananas and that's not too good for me in a way but I learned that it's necessary to do so because there are certain ingre ingredients and certain things that despite uh, causing me harm are necessary for a good function of the body okay so it's something that I was commanded under MK Ultra came up with the idea that people under MK Ultra that uh, you should absolutely not change anything about your diet if you get a cancer but you should change the way you use that diet so that you you should actually uh, adjust yourself so that body can still get whatever the body needs you just need to find what the hell is going on with um, with certain issues so you can resolve them bananas have sugar there there's a lot of sugar in it so after you finish eating bananas I just suggest you to fill the glass of water like this and sit inside of the glass of water vitamin C and consume that so that stuff is gonna impact let's say that sugar that you have a food yourself and you actually shouldn't and whatever whatever but by doing that kind of stuff you didn't give body something that otherwise you already have mentally distanced yourself away from that's the stuff I'm talking about so now if you go if we go back to this uh, distance walking it completely removed the pain from veins okay from this area here this was the first impact I got the first impact I got that it was like the director of the police stated me God forbid but I will know if I see you walking upstairs so this here this upper surface of the foot veins it uh, took away it killed the cancer here in this area this was the first impact that but there is one thing that happened the center foot remained heavily heavily impacted and they have observed this on my well-being Americans who tested me over again insisted me that if you don't get to cure this stuff or if this stuff repeats to you you do have to go to the doctor talking about the Joe Biden so Americans really really use me as an experiment animal with Eastern Europeans right here in Slovenia they have it engaged in human experimentation all about that unethical stuff that you heard about Hitler doing Nazis it was done right here in Slovenia within the last 28 years on God knows how many occasions bear in mind that for the last two years I never ever was drugged up never was subjected to MK Ultra in the last two years but for the 26 years this is the shit that went on I'm gonna tell you like this going to Brezhica all the way was it I don't know how how far is it like 60 70 kilometer I don't know walking with uh, a lot of uh, stuff on me uh, finding myself sleeping inside of the forest without any pad anything under me cold 
just using a vinyl bag and some clothing I threw under me, I was sure it's going to be all right. Boy, it was it was cancer simply exploded in me. But because of that interval, I have not used for a very long time this. Uh, not for very long, but for some time I have not used uh, garlic. I afforded myself garlic. I took garlic and uh, I, I thought that night actually, I, I went completely without sleep. I thought that, that cancer is going to fucking kill me inside of that forest where I went for sleep. I learned that cold conditions, if you are exposed to cold, would be yet another factor extremely boosting cancer. Therefore, this cancer is present in your body and it's different kind of impacts that have detrimental um, booster factor on cancer. One of which, as I stated, is pothlyania. Well, how you would say this in English? If you get yourself uh, exposed to cold, where you go cold swimming or stuff like this, uh, I realized just a few days after never anything like this but obviously the cancer progressed over the course of the time more and more and more and so when i came from brezhnev i did go for a swim in in kirka really i don't know a week ago or something and um it was rain 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 uh, it, it cooled down really really cold and as I jumped inside of the water, man, I, I thought that I felt every freaking vein on my body just not good stuff. Went up and I had from this trip to Brezze, obviously, and from trying to swim in Kirka River, like a migraine issue here on, again, yeah, on the left side. One thing I'm going to tell you, don't swim in cold if you get a cancer, don't do this. Uh, always keep warm. One thing I'm going to tell you, and that's also interesting, right, in Poland, how I have spent winter without heating. So that had a little bit more to do than just with as Prince William and Prince Harry have stated that we're going to see your sanity when you're going to be exposed to cold weather when you're going to be ex exposed to pure cold if you can hold on to it if you can hold it yeah, actually that was a cancer booster for me to be direct about that intention um, so what I want to say is about the trip to Brezhnev, how it all ended. This here, it ended with this stuff here. With uh, unbearable pain in my foot. Still return myself. Walk all the way with this pain to Brezhnev. Uh, and was here, was maybe the same evening as I returned back from Brezhnev. Um, all of a sudden, as I sleep, uh, you see this area here that I told you about, this this stuff here, this, and this. So the top foot and uh, this thing here, all the way to the knee, uh, this is something like uh, I have only experienced during MK Ultra. This is, geez, man, this is like something like somebody would take in hands, something like a trestle something like that you know I said this is a trestle and we'll take a hammer and we'll just go bow and would we'll hit straight in your center of the foot on what at the same time that that that's that would hit you in that center of the foot you would feel unbearable pain uh, all over this area which I have demonstrated on the left foot on what all of a sudden it would be disappeared the whole thing even the pain in the center of the foot that's what they referred to as under MK Ultra that the blood clot 
that he moved itself from yeah this was a thrombosis cancer in probably already the stage that I would maybe be dead that's how far the fuck they push this stuff down the throat they told me if you're gonna do a long trips and if you're gonna have this kind of a blood clot eventually that's what's gonna happen once you're gonna lay down good relax yourself that's exactly what's gonna happen I bit that cancer walking like nothing out of the cancer walked all the way to Brezhice. Uh when I came to Brezhice, the only thing I did was I bought myself some cinnamon cinnamon without any sleep at all uh, got myself some cookies and ate that with the cinnamon finished that stuff go went to this money exchange went all over this Brezhice, inspected everything identified some people and then I was out I was gone back to Novo Mesto and uh, this is this is the way it goes this shit this is this is this is this, is, this is free health care this insurance that my mother is paying to the Slovenian state it brought me so far that I wouldn't even use their fucking services I don't need their fucking health care services like this do you do you want this is, a, this is a fucking disgrace this is not even a country this is nothing this is not a health care the only time the health care system was used when they threw me inside a psychiatric hospital that's when the health care system actually paid and that's exactly what they told me on the MK Ultra the case is going to be but otherwise we're never going to fucking help you fuck you this is Slovenia inside of the European Union so that's how you can actually cure yourself from cancer but now today the video is about something else is about this here about this stuff here you know that's what the video today is about it's about this shit I have decided that, uh, to cut this away. Wait, anyways this is not uh, in my interest to have that thing because it can pull the whole nail this is what this shit is about me finding myself with a nail which finally appeared to me as it would uh, break away as if uh, one would go away from me it was quite really really amazing experience to see okay what the hell this thing is i do not know this started about i don't even know maybe a month or two months ago no, this two months started, ago this started shit like two that months you see ago. right there and uh, it broke the white thing like this that it just appeared like this is gonna broke off that's like the most fucking amazing part this started a uh, few months ago the nail is going but this shit somehow just was right there it started like this and i did not understand what the fuck went on with this stuff here. off here it broke off here leaving in part this of the is nail not the left intact, leg you understand left and leg. the other one just like this i've never seen like this anything no never and seen uh, anything like this no shit like something this i've else. not seen like this i'm not gonna go in this is also on the left leg that's so basically is, what that looked like i don't know what this what to do with it what to do with it i already decided on what to this, do with it what is this no uh i took uh something and i cut it off then i took a file and I brushed it in a such a way so that it would not uh, stick itself to the socks and break away the whole thing. That's basically what I did. I found the solution for that. No, stuff. it broke off the whole thing. It came off the whole nail. Just the question here see. is, was to me what the fuck Only was here this? The beginning no. is still intact. And it was not clear to me because this this was shocking. Obviously, the nail came out on the side, as you see. It really, really was not. It really didn't look pretty so this is basically how i did i was surprised that actually the nail came out the whole nail oh. mm. so this was pretty damn nasty this stuff i had not seen anything there. like this okay. yet that's gonna here i take some what that looks like basically underneath but underneath is something that I see it's actually 
I have seen stuff like this before. <laughs> the stuff like this, I've seen on both of both hands of my father. He's got the nails like this. He's got nails that they're not nails. It's it, it, something incredible. When I go next time to hospital, I'm gonna film his nails and demonstrate it to you. That kind of stuff. My father came up with idea in year 2020 when I was hijacked from Poland from this fucking hostel on Gdanska, hijacked to Slovenia again, uh, and uh, taken by the police, Novomesto police, for a swimming. Uh, they had me swim. Therefore, they did some. Uh, whatever you want to say this they did took me downstairs for a swimming and I was all wet came upstairs they brought me upstairs uh, took the shower everything uh, and it was Dr. Igor Kotar I sit it on a chair without knowing at all I'm fucking sitting on a chair and it was Igor Kotar doctor physician neighbor here Igor Kotar who took a needle some kind of injection whatever it was and it was a nail and the only thing he did was he lifted the nail my nail on on foot uh, it was not one time it was again he again repeated the same procedure in 2020. He did this on several occasions and was pushing something all the way by the nail all the way to the end and have injected that shit again. Yeah? And next to him was a father who stated that uh, he wants me to have this as a memory on him. And it was Dr. Igor Kotar who stated that now you got it, he said. You see, your father is not just like this. You didn't know. And your father is not just like this. Okay, so my father was the man who claimed that that uh, was doing stupid shit on an MK Ultra because he had to. Because uh, he was afraid of the politicians. Because um, there was no other way. He fucked females so that he could give me a proof apparently this man impregnated some women kudos somebody has to right what other than it's not old filthy man and it came out that while he didn't test the cancer that i had i was they were doing stuff to me he didn't test any of that stuff he tortured, he was engaging in torture. He appears uh, also introduced me in my body, just as he stated, is gonna be on the leg on which that kind of stuff, cancer wise, it was always the left side they used, the whole left side, not the right side, but the left side. Something also they refer to as uh, a communist left, communist is left. It's going to be the left side of the body that's going to kill you. So he figure out, yeah, <laughs> welcome to MK Ultra, welcome to mentally ill, super super mentally ill neighbors, welcome to Slovenia, welcome to Slovenia, and thank you, thank you so much, you fucking brought me here to this. Thank you. Thank you very much. I needed this stuff. And you what? You fucking rated me what? What? Talk about United Nations right now. Talking to you at the United Nations. What, what kind of fucking people are you? How the fuck somebody would have a trust with you? Any kind of trust in you? See what the fuck you did? You dig your own grave. You caused the problems. I take no fucking responsibility for everything. I stated for everything I have done. You are the one. You caused problems. All the problems are on your hands.
so that I'm gonna have the fucking problem he had his entire life. He got infested with some kind of a fungi during his work fishing harvestry, whatever the fuck, he, whatever happened to him. He was not nice. I always was trying to help him out. But this man just couldn't. Couldn't resist exactly what you have seen together with the neighbor, Dr. Igor Kotar. My father stated, I will already know that you know when you come to visit me to the hospital. He had with the Slovenian state to have everything preselected how the baby is going to be inside of the laying inside of the bed, inside of the hospital, and you're going to be fucking coming to pay respect, concerns, and so on. And that's what you get in return from your daddy. So that's why I stated in the last video here, because maybe some of you, I was angry, I was mad as fuck. I just didn't know. I'm going to have to go to visit father. And I will film his hands. I will do this and I will post this to the new site. You probably kind of uh, absurd me crazy in, in a way. Maybe you did. I don't know. Most likely you didn't. But there's people who like to interpret stuff. When I told you about how it is, what this stuff, how this, what this, this is like. Easy or not easy, or what exactly do I see when I visit, when I, when I pay visitations to father and so on? What kind of a bullshit this is? I want you to take account, I want you to write this down too, that he did that too, together with the neighbor quarter. He wanted this, he wanted, they wanted me to acknowledge this kind of stuff. They wanted me to acknowledge that he wanted me to acknowledge that it was he. You understand? You look at this fucking video here, okay? And you're gonna add to this stuff that my father wanted me to acknowledge that it was he and it was a doctor, the neighbor, Dr. Igor Kotar, who did this shit to me as well. And that during my visitations to father, to dear father, to the hospital. You understand? You take a fucking note and you write that down on the same leg as you're going to have a cancer, as you're going to be fighting for life. I want you to have this on the same leg. On that finger right there, it's going to spread into our area. But I want you to have this. My father believed to the very last that it will be some kind of miracle, something that obviously is going to save him. Decided uh, to cut so this, this was his anyways. wish. This was his this decision. Was not, not this is the whole thing, basically what it looks like. My interest to have that. The nail goes off, and under the nail, then nail you see what he suffered from. A, problem, but... a good portion of his life, for the last uh, probably 50 years. Well, I have never seen anything like this. That's yet. what he has. That's what his yes. fingers look like on his hands. So, how you do this shit? You take a needle. Dr. Igor Kotter repeatedly took a needle. He pushed this needle. He... All the way to the end of the toe. And then what he did was he squeezed something under the toe. Repeatedly he did this. Dr. Igor Kotter did this. Does not look pretty. So, when you go for a visit, if you would go to visit individual like this, and I encourage you to see this video again. And uh, when you go to visit, for a visit to the guy like this, let me demonstrate you something, okay? Let me demonstrate you something. They encouraged me under MK Ultra also to take this shit. This is a racket that I took. This is so filthy, so stinking. They told me, take this to a local newspaper here and they're going to smell this and they're going to complain to police and so on, but what the fuck? This newspaper is involved in it. 
why would I go and do something what the newspaper and police told me what to do? It's here. It's stinking like a motherfucker. This is the record I took from the home for elderly people. So this is basically how far my father, police, psychiatrists have gone to drive me nuts, to drive me insane. So that he could get some kind of feedback, wanted feedback, the way they anticipated they're going to get in respect to my case. And father stated, when, you, when I see you coming to the hospital and you taking camera to feel my fingers, I will already know that you know. That's where I'm going to end the video, ladies and gentlemen, so that you know what kind of people these are and what uh, uh, the father stated. He wants all the way to the end. He wants all the way to the end. That he's going to go to the end. He's going to go to the end. Translated for MK Ultra that he's going to give his best to fuck me. Basically, I have this stuff audio recorded. Not that he stated that he's going to fuck me. But he was giving me signal one time what he translated in MK Ultra torture that's gonna go to the full to the end to full full that he wants that he's the one who wants full to the end. And this man fucking hated me more than Milan Kuchan. That's why I told you here in this video that it will be very, very, very hard to determine. Very, very hard to determine what he had to perform on behalf of the politicians and what was in it that he wanted to do to me basically it's going to be very 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 hard to determine but that's going to be something up to him he's going to be the one explaining about it yeah for the assurance for uh for a safety valve for the safety for the safety valve my father used this kind of language here uh cremated you know cremated you know this is a kind of person that that's what he gave me in my life and uh he was sure that this is okay to get through like this because i'm gonna feel you're gonna feel sorry for me and basically fuck you because he always was like this that's my father right there. Yeah, that's that. So I encourage you to see that video. It's nothing wrong with that video. Everything I stated is the way it is. This is a buster to the to the end. This is a crime. This is a very very heavy crime. When you do the stuff like this to a person, that's not good. But this that's is a very heavy male crime. forming itself here. That's not okay. So I figure like out that if I'm not going to do this, this completely broke it's going to pull the other side out too, and it might even Nothing like this I pain. ever have experienced. They did introduce fungi to and me before. Injury or something like this. It's uh, but just this is a different of kind of this. fungi. This is not the same fungi as it was before. This is the fungi that was given to me literally by Dr. Igor Kotar in year 2020. It was introduced on this foot in 2020. When I did go for a swimming to Kirka River in a su in the summertime, it actually exploded. This shit here that that was under that was forming itself underneath this stuff here, it took one some time to come to develop into this stuff. So that's all I want to say for this video. It's not about the amount of this garlic that you take, like they instructed me. Eat garlic, at least two of those heads, bulbs, you have to eat per day. No, this is not what's about. That's what's gonna that's what it will destroy you. Uh, I did something like this for about a few days. And uh, that was of no help. That was just of no help. Um, it was of no help. It actually, when I started doing that kind of stuff, I think the situation even deteriorated because I think that it was other stuff that started to 
expand itself inside of the vein because that garlic makes blood more fluid it expands veins and I think that as a result of that it brought even more garbage inside and do it instead the right way therefore go for a walk uh, sweat sip just a little water here and there then sit and drink a glass of water whatever and continue doing like this for two three hours then go ahead and start chewing garlic and uh, drink the extract swallow that extract you can even spit whatever is left out of garlic out if you don't want to eat one just get the uh, that substance the garlic substance the juice just get that juice inside of your body and probably with about several of those cloves that's going to help you out uh eventually it will remove you know in, in emergency situation i don't know about other stuff but if you live in some country where you have no money for medication or something like that you can do something like this and if you complement with what you see here just make sure you're not going to do the stuff like the mk ultra people did till i warned them about it do never sip c vitamin inside of the plastic only idiots do that if you're going to use c vitamin as you walk make sure you take like a glass something like a little glass with you and use a plastic bottle to add the water in a glass and then dissolve the c vitamin in one drink that together if you want with the garlic or separately or whatever and as you walk like this if you do good hiking uh, that kind of stuff is going to seriously impact uh, a cancer issues yeah it can uh, garlic is also best taken in the mornings so in the mornings when you get up when you wake up rather than to go eat something if you're in a really bad situation yes would be best probably to take some garlic and take some time away from any kind of food but this is hard stuff to do it's a hard stuff to do so i'll just say probably the best thing which is rock with the eggs nothing else every morning eggs which you can or which you can you can pure some jam in which you throw some cinnamon in it you mix and you go and that's the kind of stuff that how it's gonna help you out okay and every here and there you do your little cleansing of the system just as I explained through the garlic and uh, little by little yeah probably you do manage to suppress one I am in status quo right now someone with a cancer by removing the death threats from me I don't face that threat anymore that that threat is gone now I have to start to go back to my normal way in other words I'm gonna start to repeat this stuff again till eventually I'm not gonna say this is what I heard all the time you get rid of it you get rid of it yeah that's a question what can you can rid of it or not but the blood clot is gone from my left foot as well as in a way as i told you and uh yeah that day again after some time that day again i have used garlic and i did some stupid stuff but still so much walking and with that garlic eventually did the magic it just uh, as i stated that's not good if that kind of stuff reappears to you too many times so that's all i want to say to you now you can see this this is this is really really not pretty i was confused when i saw this stuff i've decided uh, to cut this away anyways this is not so this is basically my what my nails to have gonna look that now. thing because if i'm not gonna do this 
It's going to pull the other uh, side out. I go to hospital. It might even cause me a pain. It's not going to be the father that will know what the fuck I'm doing. Injury or something like this. He already it's knows. Just better to get as soon as he's going to see this video, they, he's got his people, informants. They keep one updated very well about what goes on. He'll know that this stuff eventually is on the internet already. Not that he will know. That's a big difference. Very, as I stated, very, very, very hard will be determined when it comes to my father. What was in his personal interest to cause me as much harm as possible? And I will not forget his words when he stated, it was also my choice to do this to you on the leg where you have cancer. When you have that cancer dot, it was my choice to do it on that leg. Yeah, left, left side of the body because it's a leftist. They're gonna kill you. So that you know. 